Hey guys, welcome back to Westland. How are we going? Okay, so a little bit has changed since the last video that I've posted and mainly in involving um, upgrades and things like that. So I sort of wanted to show you what I've been doing with all the new workstations, the upgrades and what is to come as well. And not only that, today we hopefully will be able to unlock the bridge and I can finally get over to the south side and finally um, get into those zones that I haven't been able to all up until this point here. So let's go take a look at a few things before we get right underway. So right now, um, as I mentioned in the last video, I was able to unlock, well, I had the ability to unlock the warm armor and that allows me accessibility easy enough to get into the northern winter zones and have that ability to um, mine for any sort of iron, basalt, anything else that's, um, that is up there, maple included as well, and go to the tribal lands as well, um, all that sort of good stuff. But now, now that I've actually upgraded the armor workshop to level three, it has exposed the next tier of items so we will be able to have the ability to craft all the armor and superior armored clothing which is a big plus however unfortunately as you're looking at here at the moment these require certain materials that are actually not in the game and this is going to bring me to my next part of this as well for my workshop update here Unfortunately now, you'll get to a point once you get the update and this could be all subject to change whether it's just for the beta testers or not, but <coughs> excuse me, unfortunately we will not be able to get accessibility to these even if we wanted to via the upgrade of the workshop because we do not have the accessibility to get any one of these or if not all of these in some cases access to these materials just yet. Why? Because they are not in game, which is a bummer. So um, unfortunately right now, we do not have any accessibility to those items, uh, including the granite bl uh, blocks, so granite ore in particular, the ash, the thick leather, and what I sort of showed you before was, let's just scroll down once more, uh, linen fabric. So you can't even get it in its basic form as well. So that's going to give us um, that sort of bottleneck now. So right now, as it stands, and this is probably the prime example I can give you, I can't even upgrade the foundry because I need the granite block, thick leather, and the linen rope to get to be able to have the ability to craft uh, steel ingot. You've got the uh, chromite ore, which I don't think I've actually seen myself. I'm not too sure if that's in game yet either, but it's there. And anything else, um, let's have a look. Well, I'm actually waiting for this to, no, 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 no. Don't want to do that. I'm actually waiting for that to finish. So I've got accessibility to all the iron parts as well. So rivets, nails, iron parts. Iron parts are going to be important, especially if you want to craft uh, new guns and things like that later on which I'm waiting I'm going to be waiting over a day for the next lot here so you've got the flint du uh, dueling pistol the Springfield 58 and you've got the break open shotgun as well so respectively these are and will be craftable um, because of the iron if I upgrade it too far or too beyond what it should be then naturally I'm going to have that bottleneck as well so that's going to be obviously a pain and I just need to get some cotton fabric rolls so I can upgrade this to the next level and this gives me the ability to repair those weapons that I'm about to have ability to uh, craft. And then here, I can't get beyond this because I need steel wire, reliable leather belt and the ash plank. And then you've got the cotton as well, sorry the linen cloth I should say. Now that linen is not available in game so I don't know where that's going to be located. Are they going to open up a new um, area of the map or will they just implement it in certain parts of the map? I'm not too sure. But otherwise, these guys here still remain that they're only going to be level one for now. So you can't actually upgrade those. Mainly these guys here are going to be the upgradable uh, workstations for now. 
um, and there's been no make or mention about the storage upgrades or anything like that so for now I guess um, we're gonna go to the town I've got my iron ingots finally I've got the sufficient amount that I need so I can open up the uh, the bridge and then we can get down to the bridge itself and upgrade um, and get accessibility to the southern part anyway so as I was saying before we're not too sure where these new materials are going to um, uh, make their way so I'm thinking you know whether or not they could make a little bit of space around here rejiggle a few things around here to open up another zone so you could probably push this up a little bit further to the corner kind of like what um, the rock plateau up here is and then you might be able to put the next zone just next to the tribe uh, zone there that's what I'm thinking that could be a suggestion for the developers if you guys are watching the video of course um, or you could even put something further down here I guess there's some space in this little crevice here um, or do we get accessibility to open up um, where the the rock slide is here where the train can't get past that might be another thing there I'm, I'm guessing just off the top of my head here um, but further down doesn't seem that there can be anything that we can see here beyond the clouds so I'm guessing there might be something more here or does it you know give us a way to open up this area here I'm not too sure but we need to fight they need to work out a way the developers to uh, produce uh, the ash log so we can get ash planks so that's what I'm thinking so hypothetically here otherwise look they might even just recycle as I said some of the right uh, the current zones you know whether they use uh, the pinery here and they just sort of re redo it I'm not too sure uh, but otherwise yeah that's what that's my, what my thoughts are about it uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below and yeah guys um that's basically where i'm at with the workstations i'm pretty much at that point where i'm not able to upgrade anything else up until the point that i need to or wait for i guess oh hello let's see because in the beta update does he notice me because obviously in the beta update you can actually interact with these guys but you can't go anywhere with them so He's just there, just tooling around, which is fine. So, I need to get the tar, anyway, with all that out of the way. So, what I need is, I need some bricks, or blocks, I should say, and pine board. I should have that in my storage. So, let's go ahead and locate. So, we're going to need one, two, three, four. Well, that's only four blocks, so I might have to go back and actually get some more. And I should have enough, potentially. I think I, well, at least I think I do. Where is the pine plank? Okay, well, I'm just going to take what I can for now. I'll take the extra one here for now. And I might have to race back home just to grab the remainder, I would think. But let's see what we're working with here. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> okay, so... Hang on. Ah, okay, of course. You can't just simply double tap. I'm just so used to other games that give me that ability to do that. Anyway, so let's just continue on. Okay. And I'm going to have to race back home, unfortunately, and grab... How many more do I need? I need, well, seven. So I need four more, well, I need three more lots of that. So five in total. And I need some more of that. All right, let's race back. Because I know I've got everything I need, basically. But I don't think I'm going to have enough um, pine planks. That's going to be concerning. Because I didn't even have wood which is going to be a bit of a pain. So what I might need to do is I'll get all the materials today. I'll see what I can do chopping down some wood here and there. And yeah, I, I don't think I'll have enough actually. It's going to be really concerning because I think I'll just fall short, to be honest. If I've got any 
logs here. I'll start crafting them up right away because they actually don't take that long now to craft up, which is a good thing. But let's see, do I, I don't have any, okay, so that's not gonna help me at all. But I should be able to have enough to gather here. Yeah, so I'm gonna be a little bit short, which is not good at all. I've already got three in my inventory, so three, three lots of tar, so that's six. So I'm gonna need four more lots, so that's one, two, three, four. Just need a couple more stone bricks and we are good to go. But yeah, I think I'm gonna fall short here just by a little bit, which is not particularly ideal. Okay, so that should be enough. What I'll end up doing is I'm just gonna grab a hatchet, if I've got one, which I do. And we'll take that along with us. I think I should take another weapon just in case. Uh, what should I take with me? I think I'll just take that along with me. That should be sufficient. And we will grab a horse. What should I do? Should I? Yeah, okay. So I'll grab our horse and we'll head over to the back to town again. And I think I've got enough energy for that, which is good. And we are making our way. So, so far still no um, update or release time for everyone else to get access to the new update guys. So unfortunately for now, it's still the closed off beta here. So unfortunately you guys are still on the older version. Whereas I still, we're still running the new version for now. Now there hasn't been any sort of timeline or pathway as to when this is all going to change. I'm hoping it's going to be soon for you guys, for your sakes as well guys. I really hope that it's going to happen soon. But unfortunately, um, it appears that it's going to be a massive update as well. So, which basically means that everyone, you know, will be in line for something really special, I guess. And whatever that might be, I mean, who knows? You know, what we're getting now, there could be something more that's, or some, you know, anything more that might be coming, we don't know yet. So, there's all that. I don't know why I've gone back home. Anyway. Let's just grab our dude here once more. My bad. And race back here. And we're just going to clear out the pine forest here. I'm just going to chuck my guy in auto. And hopefully we'll get a sufficient amount of uh, wood for the planks. Which we should because we don't, ha we don't really have that much to, to grab, I guess. So... And in the same way, I mean, he's just going to grab everything else in between, which is a good thing. And yeah, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And this is really good as well, because especially if you guys want to farm and you just want to put your phone down and you just want to hit the auto mode while you go grab something. I mean, running the green zones, there's really absolutely no problem, especially when it's in daylight, when you don't have to worry about the when we go or anyone else. Um, if you guys just noticed that as well, that little flick of that tree, I don't know, I think that might be a bit of a, a glitch or a bug that's in the system at the moment. As you can see, the tree really rolls, and if your player runs, happens to run into it, um, they will push it along as well, which, is, which I find quite funny. Um, I don't know if it's a bug or anything like that, but um, I guess that's something that the developers could look at if the guys are watching my videos in particular. I did try to submit something off as well, so no one's reached out to me about that, but um, yeah guys, definitely take a look at that. Um, if you guys are in the beta as well, if you experience things like that, make sure you guys are doing the right thing and letting the developers know through the reports, uh, bug reports, whether it's on Discord, whether it's in-game, um, either way to reach them, you probably want to do it in-game um, because it's got your ID and information already attached to it. And at least that way they can go ahead and identify it and rectify the issues as well. So it's always a good thing to do. But um, let's see how we're looking at the moment. So we've already got a stack. That's really not going to be enough for what we need. So I think I might have to clear out the zone. I think if I'm not mistaken, if you because I've done this a few times over, if you've cleared out the full green pine forest here of its wood, 
basically if you pop all that into the workstation there to craft all the planks as you can see that little animation there I don't think it's right anyway but I think out of all the stacks of wood that you get I think it returns about 34 to 35 pine planks so just to sort of give you guys a bit of an idea on how that sort of works um, just for referencing for you guys yeah so that'll give you about 35 pine, pla uh, pine planks once you've cleared out the zone and you've crafted it all through the workstation and that's with the up the new update now with the old update i can't really honestly remember how much that you get out of it now because of the the changes that are made all that sort of stuff so i don't think they've made changes with um the wood wooden logs there that i can't really honestly tell you but yeah all that i can really say for you right now is that they've definitely done it the way that they have with the new update so like I said, I'm hoping, with all that being said as well, that we'll get accessibility to the newer items. Um, whether they might push that out a little bit longer, it, and if they even do um, release the update for everyone else to get, I think that might be the case. Um, or they might be cooking up the next stage of a beta release. I mean, I, I really don't want to sort of say it that way, because that's obviously going to prolong everyone else getting to the new update, or well, this update in particular. Or they might even even do it in stages where they might just release it what we've got now and they may release something else again in future and they may not use the same beta testers that they've done for this update but they might use a whole lot of other people that weren't able to get it initially just to sort of give a bit of a, a fairness towards it um i reckon that might be a good idea you know just so other people can get access to it and you know other people's views and opinions on it and what they think that they you know how they want the game to sort of uh run i guess or any other sort of bugs that weren't mentioned before all that sort of stuff so i figured that might be you know a, a good way of doing it um what do you guys think so let me know okay, well, and i noticed when i was in the pinery the other uh, just early this morning before i started um uh recording this video i noticed that some of the NPCs that were running in the zone, the ones that just spawn in like that, basically they would either run right past me or they, they would run at me and then they would divert away and run away. Now, don't ask me why or how or anything like that because I think that's also another glitch. That's what I think. Um, I haven't really been able to replicate it so I can actually um, feed that back because, you know, because I wanted to obviously um, you know, make a small, a mini clip of it so people can see it, but otherwise, yeah. All right, so it looks like we've got everything we need here. We're just gonna quickly duck out, run back home. We'll craft up what we can. We'll get all the other supplies ready as well. So let's just, oh, no, let's just do that. And we'll head back home. And we'll quickly get those, um, those planks sorted as well. All right. So first things first. I always have to go around the other side to do this. It's just easier that way. Anyway, so you should get roughly about 34, 35 planks. 34 planks, there you go. So pretty much on the dot as well because you've completely ran out of pine log as well. So, but as you can see, oop, not enough space. Going to have to, uh, let's remove, well, I'm gonna have to get rid of these anyway. So that's gonna have to happen. Actually, I only need a hundred of these guys, I think. So I can actually just throw that back. Yeah, so every five seconds, well, 15 seconds, I should say. So that's not too bad. So what we'll do is I will drop everything else off. And I try to coordinate everything as well. So I try and get everything back into its little uh, place here. I really do hope in future that the developers will allow us to um, upgrade these, um, these storage caches here just so we've got enough inventory space that we don't have to keep using you know, our boxes here as overflow. 
I mean, we could always have it, basically, you could always assign a certain box to a certain storage outlet, and at least if there's any sort of overflow, you can have that automatically drop itself into the chest there. Whether that, that might be too much in the whole algorithm, uh, algorithm, uh, algorithm, sorry guys, I can't even talk right now. Um, I'm not too sure because, I mean, the, the coding in that, you know, and especially assigning a box, you know, to a, um, a storage unit here, might be too much on the excessive side I'm not too sure but that's just my thoughts about it I mean what do you guys think something interesting all right so we've got 67 of these so I need another 33 to complete everything at the moment what do we have well I've got seven so that puts me back up to 70 which is good so I'm gonna need to wait out for another 26 well 25 now which shouldn't be too much of an issue but yeah guys, so, so far, I mean, I'm at the point now where all these workstations here are a non-go at the moment that I'm not able to upgrade any further because of those materials that we don't have in game just yet. <coughs> Excuse me, and I really wanted to show you guys well and truly before everyone gets the update just so they know where, every, where, where you, uh, you know, where yourself stand with everything. And just so at the very least that you guys have, um, you know, a bit of a pathway to sort of look at and what you sort of want to attention yourselves to. So let's get into that real quick, just while I'm waiting for the rest of the planks to come through. Hopefully it won't be too much longer, but we'll, we'll take a peek. So basically what I'm thinking, in my opinion, first off, is that you really want to attention yourselves to get the basics. So the basics for me was getting the leather on board which is from the thin hide, which you want to go down to the buffalo area, so the red buffalo zone. And if you guys have got the ability to farm that a few times over, you'll get a sufficient amount of thin hide that will give you uh, leather. And then you can craft that and get yourself uh, durable leather belts as well. So you're going to need that for some of the upgrade paths uh, as well for the workstations and for some of the items as well that you may need. And I guess the next thing that you sort of really want to look at, and I think this was more to do with the shale. So shale are pretty much located in the red zone plateau, so the non-winter zones. That, so you want to grab a decent amount of that and craft the blocks. So I think they take four or five units, five units, so five shale or to cre uh, create one block. And then later on, the, the basalt, which is located in the northern zone which you will will be needing a little bit further on as well and that will basically take you through and get you at least pretty much all these up uh, upgradable to at least level two possibly level three depending on which ones that you're after so they're the few things i'll look at and then um the next part i would think you're gonna need a lot of cotton so cotton is, is a big thing as well so you need some to make cotton rope, which is that, and then you'll need quite a bit here to get the cotton cloth so you can get the cotton fabric roll. And I believe that's basically where you guys would be at once you get everything done. You'll be pretty much close to where I am, to be perfectly honest with you. So hopefully that's given you guys enough to sort of go on just for now. And hopefully that will give you, yeah, just a little bit of a, you know, sort of like a guideline, call it, you know, unofficial as it would be, but at least this will give you some sort of, um, uh, sort of, you know, pathway, I guess, at the end of the day. And then for everything else, to be honest with you, as I, as I get them and, and as they come along, I've just been doing the herbal infusions. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry guys. Bit chesty infection today, so do apologize. Um, but yeah, so, I've been doing all the ointments, just building them up, stockpiling them, um, because I don't know whether I'm going to need them or when do I need them. Um, so I've got a, a healthy stack of that as well, which gives me uh, 300, which is good. So aside from that, that's pretty much everything that I sort of wanted to you know, give you a bit of an, a bit of a rundown, just at the very least, so you guys are you know a little bit more on the well of form side. Okay, so that should do it, guys. I think that should do it. That's my 100. Sorry about that. Just sort of wanted to quickly run through and 
give you guys a little bit of a, you know, a taste, I guess, of what you should be doing. But I've got everything I need. So we will run over. And I know what you're thinking, I need the nails. Don't worry, I've got the nails, they're here. So let us claim on those nails when I find them. There we go. So I'm going to need a hundred of these guys, so I'm going to leave six behind. And we should now... Ooh, I nearly forgot the rest of the tar, and that's also in, in my inventory as well. So let's just load in. And our boy's thirsty, so let's go fix him up there. That should be fine for him for a little bit. But the rest of the tar, where are we? Rest of the tar, I think that should be right at the bottom, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Alright. So, with much pain, I've got now the the gateway to open up the next town or the next part of the zone. So finally, finally, here we go. Let's put it all in. Oops, don't need that. Beautiful. Oh, I only just needed 20. I don't know why I took 100 with me. Oh my god. Anyway, I did. It happened. And finalize. Yay, there we go. It's all done. So now I have accessibility. Thank God for that. It took so long, guys. I mean, I should have I shouldn't have done I should have done this so long ago before this update. But it is what it is. So now I've got accessibility to all these guys here. And I guess now with the beta as well, what I might do in the next video is may visit or revisit I should say uh, some of these NPC houses and possibly the outlaws camp because I'm pretty sure that everything's been reset I might in fact do the northern actually I think that might be a good idea I might do that for the next video but yeah that's it guys that's all I wanted to show you finally done it so now I can actually go to other zones like the oak grove here and I can get all the fibers I can get basalt, but most importantly, I've got a good source now that I can get iron ingots, which it doesn't, you know, which doesn't really result me or having me to go up further up north to do the same job and waste materials that way as well by getting warm armor. So I don't really need to do that anymore. So I'm wrapped, and I've got everything else open now. So I'm, I'm wrapped. I've got the maple forest now, which I don't have to go up to the north for. So that's all good. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed what you've seen today. Hit that like button let me know also hit the com um hit down the comments let me know what you think about this update so far what you guys are thinking what are you guys doing to prepare and all that sort of good stuff and um if you guys haven't done it so already make sure you hit the subscribe button notification bell all that all that for me would really help me out anyway guys take it easy catch you next time